Hey, hey everybody, this is Larry. This is September 15, Sunday evening here in New York City. And I am, oops, not the sub one. I'm going to try to do a random problem that I haven't looked at yet, and we'll see how it goes. Today we have 362 design hit counter. I'm also just curious, wait, hang on. Uh, <laughs> nope, ooh, actually there's a, there's a happy lead coding button, and if you click on it, you actually get 10 coins, so yay. Uh, anyway, but uh, I actually want to see how many prompts I have. Like, does it tell you how many prompts you have to do? I guess 50 per page. Well, I'll go. Let me filter out by that. So there's 50 per page. We have six pages. So maybe we only have 300 of, of uh, prompts that I haven't solved yet. And I'll go anyway. Maybe there are other types. Okay. Not in, uh, so we have a lot of days left. Maybe a year left if I do one a day. But yeah, today we have 362, Design Hit Counter. Uh, yeah. Oh yeah, if you're watching this, I guess in the future, I don't know, or in the past. That, that one, that, that that didn't make sense. But I mean, uh, yeah, I usually try to solve an extra problem uh, when I, I'm i not too tired from marathon training. Um, and yeah, just have, do a problem I haven't done yet. So feel free to join in and ch see how you did, If you, especially if you found a daily problem too easy. Anyway, uh, yeah, so 362, design a hit counter, design a hit counter, which counts the number of hits received in the past five minutes. Okay, your system should determine a timestamp in seconds, and you do, do, do in chronological order, timestamp is monotonically increasing, that's good, several hits may arrive at roughly the same time. Okay, I mean, it doesn't matter at the same time, no. You have a hit at timestamp, and get hits. Uh, yeah, I mean, I think this is a pretty straightforward forward thing if uh, hmm. I mean we'll talk about the follow-up in a sec but um, yeah I mean that's not really a big deal well I mean it depends how you kind of want to think about it um, it okay we'll talk about that afterwards because this is actually a good system design thing um, at least in terms of understanding I mean you're not gonna design stuff like that anyway but, but yeah for for the actual uh, uh, programming part though. Mm, my watch is being funny. Uh, yeah, um, you could just do it with a queue, right? First in, first out. Pretty much how, how, uh, yeah, something like this. And then, um, and then, yeah, and then now when you get a timestamp, oh, it's, I was looking for a constant and, and it turns out that it's just 300 seconds. So we don't have to write anything. Um, I mean, maybe we can have something like, um, I don't know, timeout is you go to 300 or something, right? So then is that how you do it? I don't remember. Oh, does it have to be in this? Okay, fine. It's kind of because I want it to be constant, but I always forget how to do like certain things. Uh, suppose from syntax, but yeah. Um, then yeah, in here we have a hit. We do self dot um q dot append timestamp, and that's pretty much it. I mean, maybe we can um depend. It depends on how uh where do you want the the amortization to happen so maybe we can have it here it's fine right length of sub dot q is greater than zero and sub dot q um because th this is basically saying the front of the q is um if timestamp minus this is either is greater than um sub dot timeout then we pop left, right? Uh, yeah, and that's pretty much it. And we do the same thing here. Uh, maybe we can actually put this in a decorator or something like this. But yeah, so here we, we pop first though, and then we just return the length of self.q, right? Uh, okay, I mean, I... <clears throat> I was... 
I was wondering uh, whether we have off by ones, depending on how uh, how inclusive the five seconds are. I mean, I, I I knew that there was a possibility of that, so that's why I was like, yeah, okay, it's easy to fix, it's easy to spot. Um, wasn't worried about it because it was like basically the, the idea, and I'm sure this gets pointed out because this is a thing, is that um, yeah, if you have one and three hundred and one, technically they're three hundred seconds away, but you count that as past three hundred seconds. Eh, maybe that's just just a ling linguistic thing, right? But yeah, so what's the complexity here, right? We have while loops, which look scary, but really each each uh, hit can only be pushed and popped once. So it's only over one per hit. So, you know, not, not too bad in the sum of uh, all the execution times and stuff. Um, and then the question is, okay, well, what if the number of hits per second could be huge? That's just the design scale. The answer is no, because then now we have a lot of things into the deck, right? Or the queue. Um... So yeah, so like if you have a million or something per second, I guess that's a really high QPS. But like even if you have to say like a thousand, it kind of adds up, right? A thousand times three hundred for timeout. Um, you know, you're doing a lot of things, but uh, maybe even more. I don't know. But but the idea here is just to bucket them, right? So that now maybe the last. You know, uh, uh, uh. And I mean, in real system design, you'll probably put things in like a distributive cache or something like this uh, and metrics and then kind of later bash them together uh, into, you know, merge them together in a real way. Like you're not going to do everything in one machine anyway, probably. So it depends on how, how you want to, like, like, um, like this is probably, like in general, if this is useful, this particular thing is not going to be your choking point, right? It's not going to be the thing that brings down the server. So I wouldn't worry that much about it. Um, but there is a lot of distributive, distributive counter things um, available and definitely a lot of things to look at. Um, there's, you know, there's bucketing, there's badging, there are all these things. And then you're going to you know, do a merge type thing at some point if you like. Um, a lot of fun things that you can do. Um, but as for this one, that's all I have for today though. Let me know you what you think. Um, yeah. Uh, <laughs> stay good. Stay healthy to your mental health. I'll see y'all later and take care. Bye-bye.